All right, guys, welcome to another episode of Ishik Adventures. I am wearing the same shirt as the last video, or video a couple days before, even though it's only the next day. Um, I woke up at 5 a.m., and I was sharing a room with my brother, so I wanted to be quiet. And I set out the shirt I was going to wear, everything that I needed, and then I grabbed the wrong shirt. So, yeah, disgusting, wearing the same shirt twice, but I'm going for a hike and then going home anyways. So, it doesn't really matter. Um... Anyways, we're here at an undisclosed location. Um, I've been here during the day, been here during the night, multiple times during my trip here, and haven't seen anything. And it's really annoying, because um, usually this is my lucky, lucky spot. I usually have great luck here. Um, I have not been here early in the morning yet. Uh, last time I found the Yellow Bellied Racer, I was here early in the morning. So hopefully today we see some things. Um, if we're extremely lucky, I would love to find a rattlesnake um but a yellow bellied race would be awesome another bull snake would be awesome um so yeah target species are rattlesnake bull snake yellow bellied racer hopefully we don't get bit i won't be handling any rattlesnakes um way past that uh learned my lesson um but yeah i think a bull snake will be good uh yellow bellied racer would be lucky and then a rattlesnake will be extremely lucky um but we should see some deer something like that um so i have my camera some gatorade and yeah we'll get started and i'll let you know when i see something well first little creature we got this cool little beetle um nothing huge but i did like the colors on this thing and yeah i think beetles are awesome but not the biggest thing but good start so everyone knows i'm not a fan of bees or wasps um i'm better with bees than i am wasps um i like bees actually uh, when they're not flying at my face. So I did have a bumblebee like this guy fly at my face earlier and I did freak out a little bit, but usually I'm good. Um, wasps on the other hand, terrified of working on it. I don't know why they freak me out so much. Um, but yeah, this is a cute little bumblebee. I got some cool pictures. So check out a shake adventures on Instagram if you want to see those. Um, but what I'm doing is the sun is coming up now. It's getting warm. Um, and snakes are going to be out basking now. So any hot rock, any surface that'll get really hot, that's close to shelter, that's where snakes are going to be. I guess I haven't been filming the bee. And so that's what I'm looking for. Now, if you're out looking for snakes, you want to look around rocks, um, any places they can hide. You can flip wooden boards if you find them, pieces of like metal. Um, but one thing that you have to be good at is snake identification of the snakes in your area. Um, you don't want to go pick up a rattlesnake thinking it's a bull snake. Uh, but, other than that, hopefully we find something. I don't know. I haven't seen anything. I haven't heard anything, but it is still pretty early. Um, we'll see what we can get. I don't know if you guys can see that, but there's a little rabbit right there. <laughs> very, very cute. It looks like a rock on my camera. But, right there. Bye-bye, dude. Sorry. So, unfortunately, no luck. Um, I think next time I come to the States during the summer, I'll come up here once to see. I wonder if I just have to spend the whole day up here rechecking spots to get lucky. Um, but, I don't know, this used to be a gold mine. <laughs> and now, it's not. Um, I haven't had luck this entire trip here. So, I'm going to go hurry down the mountain. Um, and then, oh, I have to sneeze. Um, hurry down the mountain and then go to the Rocky Mountain Arsenal, which is where we saw the deer, um, didn't record the hopper, so we see we saw deer, the geese, um, and yeah, no bison, but hopefully since it's early morning, there won't be a ton of people there, um, it's a work day, and maybe I'll catch a snake crossing the road as it's warming up, or on the side of the road or something, um, but if not, this video will never come out, so we'll see. Well, right there, uh, we have a little baby bunny rabbit. Uh, very, very cute. This is like the kind of size a bull snake would eat. Um, so that guy has to stay safe out here. Maybe a big rattlesnake might be able to eat that. Um, but yeah, very, very cute. Let's see if it'll hop away. Oh, and it's gone so quickly. Well, we have the first deer of the day on this wildlife drive. Very cute. Surprised we didn't see any in the mountains, but out on these plains, it is a it is pretty cool. So I'm gonna grab some pictures, but 
keep you updated on what else we see. There are birds everywhere here. Um, I'm just gonna I'll zoom out real quick. There are birds everywhere in front of me. And then we got some prairie dogs up here. I love this drive. I'm going about 15 and there's a prairie dog right there. Let's see if it'll let me pull up right beside it. That's adorable. There he is. Bye bye, dude. <laughs> but yeah, there's just wildlife everywhere. Um, birds all through there. This windshield is disgusting right now. My apologies. Um, but yeah, we got a prairie dog. Can you even see him? There he is. Here, I'll zoom in on him. One second. There he is. I have some awesome pictures up on a shake adventures that Instagram of prairie dogs. So check it out. If you, if you want to see some cool close-ups of prairie dogs, we have two more deer and there are birds everywhere, but the deer are cool to watch. Oh, it looks like they went across the road. We'll let them cross. Let's see if I can capture it. So cool. Looks like two doves. <laughs> Alright, nasty windscreen. Or windshield. Oh, hi! Hello! <laughs> very, very cute. Look at their tails wag. I will never get tired of deer. Just like I will never get tired of seeing kangaroos in the wild, I will never get tired of seeing deer. Let's see. So pretty. All right, I'm gonna try to get some pictures before it's too late. Guys, look at how many birds are on this fence. <laughs> and it goes all the way down. Wow. Just so much wildlife everywhere. All right. I'm going to stop and get a picture here. <laughs> all right. Let's reverse. No one's behind me. Wow. Um, I did not think there was this much wildlife here. But I guess when you come in the morning or late afternoon, I guess it is. Wow. All right, I'm going to get some pictures. I know I've said that a lot during this video, but... Oh, wait, we got a whole bunch of birds flying by. <laughs> so cool. Come to the Rocky Mountain Arsenal. Do the wildlife drive. It's free. Um, I guess they didn't really get it off, like I said in the last video. Um, they just kind of rearranged some things. And I actually really like it. After driving it now twice, there's just stuff you can see the whole time. It's very cool. I was trying to be pretty quiet just because I want you guys to be able to hear their call, but oh, that's so cool. This is about as close as I'm going to be able to get to prairie dogs, unfortunately. Um, but very, very cute. All right, guys, unfortunately, no luck on this hill I went to. Um, still a successful day. Uh, I had fun looking for animals. Um, but I'm going to say this is the outro, but I still do have to drive out of this place. So if there's still time in this video um, while you're watching this, uh, keep watching. I've added clips. Um, but for now, thanks for watching. No, it wasn't. I know it wasn't the most exciting adventure. Um, still saw some cool stuff. I have to still say it was worth it. I am very sore, um, but I think just getting out of nature and looking for animals and taking pictures of wildlife is a great way to center yourself, uh, prepare for a day, a long day of travel or a week or anything. I don't know. I find a lot of peace just being in nature, even if I don't find the targeted species I was looking for. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.